Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Darcy here at Six Strings Nine Lives. Um, just gonna throw a little spotlight on a guitar player that you will know in the uh, metal world, um, and that's Herman Frank. Um, I think it was, well, it was about two years ago I was skimming through Amazon, and you know how uh, Amazon throws out uh, uh, ideas of what, what you think they think you'd be interested in, and uh, I see, okay, new Herman Frank album. I'm like, well, I did not even know he had any solo albums, so I'm like, okay, I'm gonna check that out, and uh, I YouTubed uh, the video for Ball Hog Zone, and it was like, wow, this is awesome. Um, so I uh, pre-ordered that album, and when I when I clicked on it, it uh, showed me two other albums, and they all said 2016 releases, and I'm like, you know, is this guy releasing three albums at once? I'm like, I've never heard of that. But anyways, no, they're re-releasing his two his first two solo albums. Uh, the first one is Loyal to None. So these three albums I'm gonna show you all released in 2016. This is an awesome album. And uh, you know, these guys do such a great job. Uh, AFM uh, records, uh, bands like Flotsam's on there now, UDO. Anyways, the, the vocalist on this is the vocalist from the band Victory. And uh, I'm, I'm not going to say his name. I'm trying on this one. Uh, Giodi Pacaderis. Uh, I believe he's from Greece. Um, really good vocalist. He's oh, he's awesome. Actually, I'm starting to get into more of the Victory stuff too. Been YouTubing stuff like that. Probably pick up a couple of their CDs in the future on my ever-growing list. Anyways, great album. Favorite track on here. Uh, if you want to YouTube a couple highlights just to check it out. Uh, YouTube Kill the King. It's awesome. Um, then Herman came back in 2012 with uh, this one, Right In Your Guts. Another cool cover. Uh, very nice artwork. Again, these releases are very well done. Pretty pumped that they're in jewel cases too. Um, there's a CD. Um, I don't know, I, there is kind of a theme here, maybe that's their mascot. Um, anyways, great album. Uh, go YouTube the song Write In Your Guts. Awesome song. Um, so Herman writes all the music for this and on the first album, um, the uh, Victory vocalist uh, wrote all the lyrics and on the second album, uh, a vocalist named Rick Altsy came in. Uh, you might know him if you're familiar with the band Master Plan. Um, that's Roland Grappos' band, ex-Halloween guitar player. So Rick's in that band. He also does vocals for Herman Frank. Awesome vocalist. Very similar um, to uh, the first album. Very similar styles. Um, but I, I, I do like Rick's vocals are awesome. Uh, great songwriting. Uh, then we get into their third album, which is the one that kind of got me on the pre-order. This is a, a digipack. Very well made though. Um, it says in here that uh, it's a limited edition. Not quite sure what's limited with it. There is one bonus track, but there's a bonus track on all these. Uh, anyways, very well made. It's not flimsy. Um, awesome. But this is an awesome album. This was one of my top albums in 2016 uh, for sure. This is really worth checking out. Uh, great songs, Running Back, um, No Tears in Heaven, the, uh, the lead single, uh, Ball Hog Zone. Um, great album. Check out Herman Frank, you guys. Uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. If you're fans of uh, anything from Germany, which I am, any of uh, the German power metal. Again, I wouldn't consider this power metal more, more just metal. Uh, with elements of power metal. Uh, great guitar player. Um, you know, and standing in the shadows of Wolf Hoffman um, for, for years, uh, it couldn't have been easy. Um, I really like this solo stuff. I hope he continues. This last album came out in 2016. Um, so, you know, uh, hoping for a two to three year gap till they, he uh, puts out another one. Um, again, great guitar player. You're going to love it, I'm sure. Uh, check out those few songs I mentioned. Uh, let me know what you think, um, but uh, again, uh, great albums, very well done by AFM Records, um, and that's it for this Spotlight. 
Um, definitely not a ranking. It's a little easier to to talk about three albums instead of uh, you know 11 or 12 or 15. So, anyways, that's it. Stay heavy.